Welcome to Around the World in 80 Bottles. I'm Emily Garrison, and today we're going to continue our travels in France through the Bordeaux region. And we're going to have another classic French dish, a croque monsieur, which really translates into a ham and cheese sandwich, but we're going to dress it up a little bit. Um, by the way, croque monsieur, of course, we know monsieur means mister, but croque um, is a variation of the French word for crunch, so it's supposed to be a nice crunchy sandwich, which is why we're going to saute it. And we're actually going to add a little extra cheese for a little extra crunch. Now, when I make my croque monsieurs, I like to add caramelized pears because it gives it an extra depth of flavor. So we're literally going to take a pear and slice the sides off and we're going to cut them nice and thin and then the round ends are going to come off and then we're going to saute that in butter and add a little bit of sugar to make it just a little bit sweeter. Now we've browned our pears and it's time to assemble our sandwich. I like to let the butter get room temperature so it's easier to spread. And I've gone ahead and spread butter on both pieces of bread that we're going to use for the sandwich. You can use any kind of bread you want, but I really like rye for this sandwich. It complements the ham and the cheese very well. Putting a piece of plastic wrap under one of the buttered sides so that you don't have to worry about getting butter on everything. And I'm using about four ounces of ham. And Black Forest is probably my favorite for this particular sandwich. You can do thick slice or thin sliced. And then, of course, good quality Swiss is key. And I like to use Gruyere or Emmentaler. I think Emmentaler is probably my favorite. And because you can rarely find the really good cheese in shredded form, I just take it and dice it spread that right on there. I use about a quarter cup, which is about two or three ounces. About two ounces probably would be correct. And then we are going to use some good quality whole ground mustard or stone ground mustard. And then finally we're going to put our pears on there. I really like the contrast of the nuttiness of the mustard with the sweetness of the pears in this version. And then once again, the richness of the rye adds a little something extra. And of course, we want to put our pears on there. And these were just cooked with butter and sugar. Very, very simple. Complicated is not always better. A good quality pear, a very nice mustard, good quality cheese, good quality ham is going to get you a lot further than trying to make something uber complicated. And then I'm going to put this back on the stove and we're going to make sure that the butter that we have left over from the pears gets used to get this very nice and melted down. I'm just going to flip that right onto the butter. And you can use a large pan, as long as you have a good quality non-stick pan, this will work really well. And with the butter already in the pan and the butter on the sandwich, it's going to make for a very good crust on your sandwich. Now that we've taken this off the oven, it's time for a finishing touch. Just a nice little great. I'm using Parmesan, you can use Manchego, you can use Gruyere, anything you'd like. And you can either serve it straight away, put it back on the stove, or what I really like to do is I put it in the oven for about one minute and it just browns that cheese. I just threw this into the oven for about one minute and it melted slightly that Parmesan on the top. It's the only thing there is left to do is serve it and enjoy. And there is a lovely ham and cheese sandwich 
dressed up just a little bit with some grape mustard and some caramelized pear. And once again, just because it's simple doesn't mean it can't be delicious. I'm gonna enjoy this with a glass of Chateau Carole, which is a Centimillon um, from the right bank in Bordeaux. And it's a softer style Bordeaux, but still has a little bit of grip to it, which will be perfect with all the cheesy, melty goodness we have in that sandwich. So I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you next time on Around the World in 80 Bottles. Cheers!